So this is Adobe Audition. You've opened it up and this is how it opens up here. And what you need to do first is head over to here and click on multi-track. This is gonna allow you to combine more than one track together and time them and edit each track individually, which of course is what you want to do. So give it a name, a session name. Um, this will be the name of your scene probably. So the scene I'm gonna be creating is a kind of like underwater submarine-y kind of feel. So I'm gonna call it submarine. And where am I going to save it? You need to browse to somewhere that you know, and that logical place is going to be in your um, Tech Crew folder on your OneDrive. So as you can see, I've made a folder here called Sound Effects, and that's where I'm going to save it. So select folder, leave the other stuff all as default. That's all good for now, and then click OK. So what it's done now is it's made you a standard six-track recording. Um, environment here and um, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get a sound effect and you're going to put it into one of these tracks so what you need to do is go over to your files and hit the browse and you're going to open up a file so I've saved some music some sound files in that tech crew folder um, you have to see the other video for how to download those files so I'm going to open my first one which is this kind of whale sound and there's the sound file there I can whale sounds happening um, and I look um, look where I am I'm over in the waveform here so that's looking at the actual wave pattern of that sound so I'm going to go back to multi-track and it's been imported into my project here so I can just click on this and drag it over to track one Okay, so now you can see it positioned over here. If I press like that. Now, that's not the only one I want. So I'm going to open another file and I'm going to bring in another file. This is the Sonar file that I downloaded in another video. So I'm going to open that up. There's that file and go back to my um, multi-track. There's that Sonar file. And I'm going to drag it here so it starts at about that point. Okay, there we go. And then I can hit. And I'm starting to create my sort of atmosphere. Okay, so fast forward a bit, and what I've done is I've added um, another sound effect, this kind of underwater sound, and then I've created copies of these things so it lasts a little bit more time. So all that editing and adding, you know, copying and pasting stuff is fairly simple, but there is another video about how to do some cutting that's coming up. Um, but now what I need to do is save this as an audio file. So that's going to squash everything down, all these three layers down, squash them down into one file that I'm going to be able to play in the theatre. So it's dead easy. It's just file and export and then multi-track mix down. Okay, so file, export, multi-track mix down and then select entire session and it's going to give you a default file name and it's going to put it in a default location and save it as an mp3 all of that's all fine you can file it away somewhere that you know later so you just click ok and it's going to compress it down and then that's now sitting waiting for me on my desktop and that's the file that i'm going to play in the theater so um, the other things you need to know about are editing these effects so that's cutting them um, changing the volume levels and things like that, pasting as well. So that's all gonna be in another video.